Hi, this is Ron McTube. Today on the Hunt of Call of Wild, we're on Hirschfeld and taking our very first look at a brand new animal which has been released today, which is the European rabbit. That's right, European rabbits are out now. We've got them in front of me. You find them by looking for burrows, and there's normally five or six burrows, and then you get lots of European rabbits around them. In a minute, there's something going off with them though, so I think they need a little bit of tweaking because sometimes they're coming frozen or don't move. But we've got an albino one on our left, so I'm definitely going to take that in a minute. And then we'll go through the description in great detail to do with how they work. Now, I'm using the 22 LR, it's a really good gun for just sniping generally low class animals so it's really good for birds and rabbits as i said at the minute there's something doing where they're not moving about properly drop in the comments if that's happening to you i know some people are saying they're fine and some are saying they're they're not moving correctly at the minute so maybe there needs to be a small little update to them but i do like how the burrows are it does seem to work very nicely this is a location where i found mine Basically, there's a lodge on my left. Let's just go to this lodge. There you go. Schoenfeldt Lodge, I think that's how you pronounce it. But down that road, I've seen a few burrows. And at this location, I've seen them a few times. I've stopped, started the game, tried different times. Morning, afternoon, and near dusk, uh, you seem to find a lot. But I was trying three till four in the main time. And I've just tried early in the morning, and they seem to be there as well. So let's have a look at the codex and we can go over the uh, finer details about the European rabbit. So the European rabbit is class one, its behavior. Those are constantly on the lookout for predators, like short grass, good hearing and vision and sense of smell, uh, lives in small groups. From what I've been reading through this, basically um, these groups of up to 10, that's what I found at Burroughs, up to about 10. I did try like a different time and a common was like three at one of them I found so I don't know if time does affect how many you see but on uh, average I've seen about 10 rabbits at the burrows so go find the burrows generally they're in short grass uh, nice areas so that area where I've just shown you try there because quite a lot of that is just nice clean short grass where you can see the burrows really well uh, it seems to be a good um, area for finding them and I've already seen on the Hunter Discord a lot of people are trying to find out where they are so try that spot and then let me know in the comments if you've got any burrows around there sometimes they're in the same spot over and over again and then sometimes they go from there I don't know why that is but it just seemed to happen let's go and collect this so yeah you might be able to just hunt the same spot over and over and over and the burrows are there every time you restart your game but sometimes they may go away uh, so I don't know exactly how it works now like I say I've only just started since the update trying them out so the outpost you want is Sean Field outpost good luck and let me know how you get on now we've got one in front of us it is bugged out I know but that is actually a good uh, thing because we can actually have a closer look at it and see in great detail about the rabbits also there you go diamonds 2.40 also I was going to say um, when you shoot these rabbits, the European rabbits or rabbits in general, they leap up in the air. Now, if anyone's ever shot a rabbit, and I'm sure many of you have shot them with air rifles or whatever you use, um, they do do that. That's actually really realistic. And they've got a little like death kick as well. Uh, so I do like that animation on the rabbits. In fact, if you haven't seen it before, if you haven't noticed it, when we've had a quick look at him, I'll shoot this one and just watch for what I'm talking about. He'll do a little kick in the air. The big bushy tail they're quite a lot smaller than uh, the other rabbit species so we'll have a look at that in to see case supply tree project and compare but there's the little kicks in that <laughs> do like that but you get males females 2.4 for a diamond you can get melanistics albinos i don't know what other uh, color variations there might be on the fur but i'm sure we'll see this as we hunt them more It'll be a good little earner as well if you find a lot of spots and if the spots do stay uh, you can set tents up and you can jump in between them i don't know how many uh, there'll be on hirschfeld and how many different sets of uh, burrows and uh, but if there's quite a few and you can set tents up it could be a good earner right which one is it that one's uh i think he's dead or alive i'm not sure <laughs> there's quite a few like i've said i've often 
seen about up to 10 at these burrows while I've been looking on four or five occasions right albino there we go that's definitely going in my lodge and I know exactly where that's going as well I've uh, been after an albino rabbit for a long time so that's a nice little bonus and very welcome one what are you going to hunt these European rabbits with drop it in the comments let me know are you going to get them are you going to be like me uh, sniping them with a 22 LR are you going to shotgun them uh, some people will be bowing them and all sorts uh, but there's that animation I was talking about, a little hop in the air. It'd be really good. I'd love to have a little Jack Russell with me now, uh, hunting these. It'd be, a, it'd be a right laugh. And I'm hoping that's what happens in the future. So there's been a lot of talk about dogs, and a lot of people are really happy that they're probably going to come to the Hunt the Call of Wild. Drop in the comments um, what you would like to see regarding dogs and rabbits. Uh, would you like to see that? It would be interesting, I know that. Right, so Seeky Swire Trophy Lodge. Here we are, and this is where my albino European rabbit is going. I haven't seen a diamond one yet. I've had some twos uh, really close. So it'll be interesting to see if twos can make diamond. Maybe they do. I've had them really close, as I've said. But here's the star of today's show. Albino European rabbit great trophy and I'm glad I've got him I didn't want to just put ducks everywhere I've got quite a lot of diamond ducks and you don't just want one trophy all everywhere you want a mixture so it's nice to add some rabbit species to Sisiki Safari Trophy Lodge also got a melanistic we'll have a look at that in a minute but as you can see these are quite small these European rabbits compared to like the European Jack Rabbit over here like the diamond one I was just looking at is a melanistic uh, you can see they're probably about twice as big the jackrabbit is to the European rabbit. So you can see, look, they're about twice as big, I'd say. So let's take a look at the menistic European rabbit. So we've had our first look at them, our first hunt for European rabbits. What do you think of them? Drop it in the comments. I'm on Red Tube. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels and thanks for watching. Bye bye.